Everyone, send your congratulations to Senator Lindsey Graham because he has a new job, unpaid intern, to put it mildly and kindly, for Donald Trump. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but please help President Trump. If you can fi afford five or ten bucks, if you can't afford a dollar, fine. Just pray. Make sure you vote as early as you can in your state. Don't risk anything anymore. Vote as soon as you can. Pray for this country. Pray for this president. And if you got any money to give, give it. LindseyGraham.com, it doesn't go to me. It goes to helping this president and taking back the Senate. That hair and that skin tone looking a little bit kind of familiar. The GOP response to Trump's indictment has been all over the place. Senator Graham is literally begging for money, tears welling in his eyes. And during the holiest week for Christians, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is comparing Trump to, get this, Jesus and even Nelson Mandela. In contrast, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is taking a very different approach. Crickets. The silence from McConnell is deafening. Joining me now is Rick Wilson, co-founder of The Lincoln Project, Republican media strategist, and the author of Running Against the Devil. Rick, good morning. I like your Easter blazer. Thank you so much for donning it for you. us. We just played that bizarre clip of Lindsey Graham asking for money to help Donald Trump. It was like one of those commercials for just a few cents a day. You, too, can sponsor a former president. I mean, how yeah, wise, no Rick, is it for Republican... Go the other thing was Wait, like, it was like some sad Sarah McLaughlin music and, and sad-eyed puppies staring at the screen. <laughs> That's right. We talked about that. So, but look, look, Rick, how smart is it for somebody like Lindsey Graham to continue to embrace Trump with all of the albatrosses of this first indictment and the several indictments that are going to come to pass? Look, uh, if you're a Republican candidate ever thinking about running again in a primary, you're going to do exactly what Lindsey Graham did. Donald Trump's control of the party is separated and, and bifurcated from the, the all the legal challenges. In fact, those have now become litmus tests for Republican primary voters. You know, and if you're not with him now, 100 percent, they're going to turn on you in the future. That's why every single candidate in the presidential primary has come out and basically neutered themselves versus Donald Trump. Uh, on this issue. And that's why you're going to see a, a shield wall of Republicans with, with only a handful of minor exceptions here and there um, that, that are going to be pretty much cohesive in supporting Trump and claiming that the indictments are, are a lie and it's all the deep state, et cetera, et cetera. You know, Rick, Dominion Voting Systems versus Fox heading to a huge jury trial April 17th. Blockbuster filings revealing more and more evidence that Fox knew what it was peddling to its viewers were just lies about the 2020 election being stolen. But do Fox viewers even care? And, and more importantly, will Fox continue to serve as a propaganda arm for the GOP going into the 2024 primaries? In answer to your second question, absolutely. I mean, you can already see it this week. They fully made the turn. Ron DeSantis, who was on Fox every 35 seconds for about a year, was off for the last three or four weeks now, and or, or declining. And last week, he was off completely. They have made the turn back to Donald Trump. They're going to go back to Trump because that's where the bread and butter is. Their audience, their audience sort of cares a little bit about what they're hearing from the Dominion case in terms of the contempt that Fox hosts have for their audience and Fox executives have for their audience. But overall, they understand how to, how to stoke the, the great unwashed masses out there and to drive them into a frenzy. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So you're going to see Fox back on its whole Antifa, BLM, trans panics, uh, at, at a billion miles an hour as they rebuild their support and, and their infrastructure around making Donald Trump the, the, the single focus of their uh, coverage in American politics.